we, as a commission, we actually met very briefly uh, because we have not met before uh, at about uh, early this afternoon. And then it was important, I felt, for us to then meet with the minister in charge of the elections to have a briefing from him as to what uh, uh, the election uh, uh, the electoral office has uh, has done so far. And uh, that was a good briefing. And we know that they've done a lot of work. And there's obviously still a lot of work to do. And so this is as far as we've come today. Uh, and I'm grateful for the opportunity given by the Attorney General uh, in briefing us and enlightening us on what has been done and uh, uh, achieved. And uh, I think uh, I think the next step is to actually look at the and vet the supervisor for election. I think that's, that's probably one of the most important things on the draw card. And we'll take it one step at a time. And I think I said to you as well that uh, we hope that as a commission we will uh, give you uh, timely press conferences as and when we think there's, uh, there's a need to. So hopefully uh, you don't have to hound us for a response. We will give you a response uh, as and when we feel that it's time to do so. Maybe I'll just hand it to the Attorney General and you can make his comments. Thank you, uh, Chair. I'd like to once again uh, publicly thank uh, the commissioners who have accepted this position. Um, the Chair and his team. Uh, one of the commissioners out here is Dr. Vijayanayu, who is away overseas. Um, and, uh, you know, thank them for the task. It's obviously quite a uh, onerous task. Uh, they're going to have elections in the new system. Uh, the elections will be based on credibility and transparency and, of course, uh, a lot of integrity, perhaps, is like in previous this afternoon we uh, did brief uh, the chair and his team uh, regarding the various aspects of the work that has already been carried out uh, in the elections office, right from, as you would know, the various advertisements that have gone out, the current staffing arrangements in the elections office, the um, overseas registration that has already taken place and what is in store in the next coming months, uh, to um, what we believe uh, steps should be taken to ensure the uh, credibility and integrity of the process uh, for having elections. We also discussed the uh, fact that the current regulations are being drafted and how we will um, give a copy once it's uh, more close to the final version to the Electoral Commission for their comments, uh, their input into the uh, regulations um, that will uh, ensure a, a credible process for the holding of elections. We also discussed uh, the, some of the initiatives that can be undertaken uh, in terms of uh, providing more information to the public. We discussed the uh, various consultants that have already provided the assistance, and the donor countries that have already provided assistance, um, and how you know, there needs to be coordination. Um, from, from government's perspective, of course, it is critically important, uh, as we highlighted uh, to the Commission, that the Elections Office truly, for the first time, becomes independent, truly independent critical uh, for the building of strong institutions in Fiji that uh, institutions such as elections office become truly independent, become standalone organizations, and they're not just um, you know, career paths for people within those organizations, but uh, they stand out as institutions where people can have a lot of faith and, uh, and trust in. So that was uh, some of the issues that we did discuss. We also uh, highlighted and gave them copies of the various reports that have been put, been put together, for example, by the Commonwealth and the EU and New Zealand joint report, uh, and um, they've got also uh, copies of various other documents, the, the structure for the elections office. Um, and now, of course, the Commission will um, take over most of the processes um, in respect of um, until such time as the supervisor of elections are appointed, the criminal safety for justice as provided for in the Constitution uh, will effectively and has been effectively been in the position uh, or has been in the shoes of, of the supervisor of elections and he will uh, report to the Commission. Uh, once the regulations are done and once the supervisor of elections are appointed, of course, then all the strings are cut off and the uh, uh, electoral office, the electoral commission uh, runs on its own. 